Swifty, what's up, man? How you doing? This lot, this Los Angeles County, okay. this Los Angeles County. So like, so up here you got Southsiders, <laughs> Southeasters. <laughs> <laughs> this is the dead end right here. Uh, the nicer places look, the more dangerous. There's killers in the city. There's killers in the city. So nine times out of ten, it ain't just like, oh, they don't like Swifty just because Swifty is Swift. Nah, it's more to it. It's like there's a backstory too. Why they saying that? Swift, you know what I'm saying? At Progress Park. Hell yeah, we right. right here working now, about to get some money, good money. This is my pre-workout. <laughs> this is my pre-workout right here, my protein. <laughs> Politics in the back, whatever. Now I'm, I'm, I'm checking fools, or I'm getting checked, or whatever. Like shit, like you know, what I'm saying this park and showed us the best of times and the worst of times. We call it eating. Yeah, yeah like eating. Uh, hold on, hold on. Cheeto, hold on. Uh -huh. Cheeto, it's not Cheeto, Cheeto burrito, Cheeto. the special. Mm -hmm. That's your boy Fatima. Motherfucker, it's your boy Swifty Blue. We right here at Fatima's Grill in the city of Paramount. Shout out Valley Club for rocking with me. Swifty Blue coming to a city near you. Valley Club, the cult. Valley Club, the cult. Okay, babe, you already know who the. F it is it is i the biggest cactus the world has ever seen and if you're wondering how or why the fuck i'm with swifty blue aka one of the most loved slash hated latino rappers of our time in this little sub city in the southeast section of la county and sit tight and i'll tell you if you've been a loyal viewer of the valley club channel then you are definitely in tune with one of california's most controversial aka big swifty blue every time swifty's in phoenix he links with us the cult members here at the valley clubhouse the dopest recording Recording studio and content house in Arizona. Through various link ups with Swifty here at the clubhouse, we've recorded hella music, shot hella music videos, and gotten to know him through various vlogs and interviews. But one thing we have yet to do with Swifty is check in. Tap in, tap in. So on our most recent trip to LA, we told them we had to come to Paramount and do just that so we could see the land that bred one of the internet's most controversial essays ever. Officially formed in 1948, Paramount is a predominantly Hispanic community with 83% of residents falling into that category, followed by blacks coming in at 7.5% and whites right behind them at 5% of the population. And according to citydata.com, the crime rate was higher than 85.6% of other U.S. cities. With Compton directly to its west and Long Beach directly to the south, it is no stranger to the bullshit. For our safety, Swifty had us come bright and early so he could show us around his childhood stomping grounds, aka show us around the east side of Paramount, California. Swifty, what's up, man? Hey, <laughs> We're back How you it. doing? How you doing, man? Yeah, we over here at Paramount, bro. Okay, so we are in Paramount, California. Yeah, yeah Paramount, California. Is this this lot this Los Angeles County okay. this Los Angeles County so like I I suppose harbor area starts like uh, Long Beach okay like Long Beach I think that's harbor area so. yeah so this is this is this is Los Angeles County this is like the last this the this the last of it this is the last of, this the last of it yeah this is like Southeast borderline South side okay yeah okay Southeast, exactly, exactly, because the southeast is, is more pushing this way. You know what I'm saying? Now I sound like the weather man. <laughs> so up here you got Southsiders, Southeasters. <laughs> uh, this really, this the dead end right here. Uh, this like one of the heart. This like one of the. This like one of the main ones. But for sure, like from from the Paramount High School. From Primo High School all the way to the Primo High School all the way to the uh 91 freeway. That's all the hood right there. That's all the hood. Is. Yeah, homies hang out everywhere. They hang out everywhere. It ain't nowhere specific that people being they just be on the whole, the whole hood. This one of my favorite blocks. This one I, I brought uh Adam 22 over here. And uh yeah, yeah, this is one of the blocks. You know what I'm saying? But we just be low in. We be low because we don't want attention from the police or from anybody. So, no, we be low then. We'll be outside like that. Hell no, you come around, you is not gonna find us. <laughs> we gonna find you. <laughs> I like you were telling us in your uh, story of Swift, you were born and raised here, right? I was born and raised in Suburban Medical Center. Yeah. What so, like growing, up? growing up, like, I went to Paramount High School, you know what I'm saying? So, I was trying to, I was trying to play sports and focus and stuff, but. 
hanging out with my friends and stuff. I got carried away, and now we hanging out the park, smoking, drinking 40s, and 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 now, hey, you know, we in the back of the park getting put onto the hood, you know, like that, like you know, we it went from it went from tryouts at the uh, at, at, at the football, trying out for the Paramount football team to more hanging out in the back of the park, and we bud, you know what I'm saying, like that. So it, it, it was smooth growing up in Paramount. It was like, it's cool, nice, cool city and shit, but uh, you know, the streets get the best of you out here if, if if you don't focus, if you don't focus on what's important. So somebody told me, why, man, why you doing uh, videos over there in Paramount? Why you doing vlogs, man? That's the suburbs. I said like, man, sometimes like the nicer places look, the more dangerous or like, or like you can't underestimate somebody just cause this man look nice and clean cut doesn't mean this more it won't kill you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't underestimate your environment or, you know what I'm saying, or people. It's tough with all these subjects with long So this is the thing, this is the thing. Okay, okay, for sure the politics always get in the way. Okay, always, 100%. So that's always like a factor, like, damn, man, if you're from, like, let's say you want to rap. Let's say you're coming up rapping, but then you're like, man, I want to be from the hood. Well, look, if you're going to be from the hood, you're automatically going to cancel out you working with certain people and network with certain people, you know what I'm saying? Throw it out the window. Throw it out the window. So, obviously, you got to be you got to be smart and and make the best business decisions when you're doing certain things, you know what I'm saying? Other than that, uh other than that, what was I going to say? Man, I'm high as hell. This shit got me. This shit is a Z thing. This Z pod right here got me going crazy, man. Oh yeah. Other than that, other than that, look. So basically, look. Me coming out. Me coming out of the city of Paramount. So look, this coming up out of Paramount, like, who else was rapping in Paramount? That's actually like not. That's actually really from Paramount. You know what I'm saying? Not. I don't want to hear like, oh, oh, that nigga YG. Nah, that nigga from Compton. From Bonton. Nigga, who from Paramount that really rapping, really represented? Okay, we had Lil Squirrel from Dog Patch, the old school rapper. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Lil Squirrel. But this new generation, you know what I'm saying? We in 2023. This is Blue. This is my generation. So it's like, ain't other than that, I I got homies from my neighborhood and homies from my label that are rapping. But but basically, uh, like I was the one, I was the face to pop out for the city and shit. so if your city. If it ain't nobody really for the new generation rapping, it's like it's up for grabs. It's it's up for grabs. It's like it's like open open ballpark. You can come up some points on the on the board, and whoever got the most points, you you gonna be the king of the town. You know what I'm saying? You the one making the most noise. That was my opportunity because look, you gotta think about it. Compton is booming. You can name a hundred rappers from Compton that's booming. Game, uh, y, uh, YG, Kendrick. Go back back in the day, easy. You know what I'm saying? All the cities ne nearby, like you don't hear nothing too much. Like, oh, who? You don't hear nothing about it. Like, who was rapping? No, nobody. So that's why I knew, I knew. Even though it's different nowadays, I just knew, like, oh, the lane wide open. Uh, she knows who it is. She knows who it is. She's like, that's what's the name? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Coming up to Paramount, you feel like that set you up for. Well, nah, for sure, for sure. Look, look, you gotta understand. I'm coming from a small city. I'm coming from a small city, but it's killers in the city. It's killers in the city. So it's like, okay, <coughs> these fools from Paramount going at it with these fools from 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 the outskirts or from Long Beach, or they going at it with these fools from Compton, or they going at it with these fools from North, whatever. They going at it with fools from whatever. They going at it. All right. Now it's like this side of town doesn't like these fools. This side of town because your uncle, your uncle, he went at it with these fools from the east side, from Paramount. He don't like Paramount. You feel me? So it's easier to be like, oh, that rapper from Paramount. Oh, fuck him. it's easy because 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 most of the time it'd be like it'd be like history to some to a story to the reason why they why they somebody saying that you know what i'm saying it'd be history to it so nine times out of ten it ain't just like oh they don't like swifty just because swifty is swift nah it's more to it it's like there's a backstory to why they saying that either one of my homies yo and y'all beefed it over that or some or 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 and i'll be if paramount we a bunch of young fly essays and shit. look or one of your big homies got beat up by the little homies or some, whatever. Yeah, and, and, and now it's like it's not even just Paramount, them and Swifty. 
because you're the face. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Until you went to Florida High and just double back in that real quick. How was that? Man. Yeah, that's the high school right there. Look, oh, nah, I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> that's a refinery. That's the refinery. <laughs> oh. Going to Primo High School was cool. It was cool. Like now they remodeled it, so it looks like a it looks like a college campus. Okay. But uh, there were well, a lot of politics in high school. When I went the there, ball. you when I went there it was a couple homies from the east side, a bunch of taggers, different tagging crews, and it was more like just a bunch of crews going at it. But but the east siders, that was the east side school at that time when I went there. But it's always been like back and forth. Crews crews from different hoods will pop out. This generation might be like. It might be these foods from the east, uh, from 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 the dog patch for a little bit, or it might be the south siders for a little bit, like like you know whatever. But like, shit like that. Like, yeah. Yeah, we'll go to the park. You want to go to the park? Yeah. All right, let's go to the park. For sure, for sure. Let's yeah. go to the park. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Hell yeah, good looking. Yeah, we'll go to the workout equipment. <laughs> yeah, you know, we worked out with Swifty today, you know what I'm saying? Swifty workout plan. That's how you stay in shape, you know what I'm saying? That's how you do that. 10,000 burpees. 10,000 burpees. Nah, I'm saying. Damn. <laughs> That's how you got You got to try. You got to <laughs> You got to shoot for 10,000. If you land short, it's good. Oh, you got to try. You <laughs> about <laughs> What? <laughs> Pull up the bike. Swifty you know what I'm saying? At Progress Park. Hell yeah, we right. just right here working now, about to get some money, good money. All right, about to get some good money, right? Uh huh. Just like this is my pre workout. <laughs> this is my pre workout right here, my protein. <laughs> this one, instead of drinking it and mixing it in your shake or eating it, you consume it by smoking it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gotta get those up. No, but yeah, this is the back of the park. This is the, the park, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate the city for lacing us up with the good good park gym. You know what I'm really saying? Good. It's the basketball course. It's always popping. Uh, I think like Thursdays and I think like Sunday mornings or something. Paramount in general, that's a pretty much a Correct, right? um, majority of the demographics is Hispanic. Majority, but there's there's a uh, majority, but there is a lot of blacks. There's a lot of blacks. Yeah, oh, okay. a lot of blacks. You know, you hear about a lot of like racial tension in LA. Is this one of those sections? Or growing up, growing up, like I remember uh, seeing the racial, like the the walkouts, and then they had racial rights. But like, it, I was thinking of, that was like ten years ago, like more than that. Like it ain't no, it ain't it ain't too. It changed already. It's different now, but but like you know, it's it, it, it's almost like it's almost like nowadays people uh they not progressing. They going back into the they going into their old ways. You know what I'm saying? So, so for a while, not, not, good. you don't know what to expect nowadays. Okay. But but for sure, things have gotten <laughs> a lot better. Like things got better. Like you don't see it. You don't see it no more. You don't see you don't see like too much racial going on. Like you know what I'm saying? It's more like <laughs> it's more like brown on brown, black on black. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It ain't even like people hate people. It ain't even like personal. Right. People hate people. It ain't personal. At one point, I was really like out there trying to show face in the community and trying to be a positive figure. <clears throat> and then and then I kind of just slowed up and started kicking back and, and just being more. Like less conscious of what I was doing, but but you know it, it it's always good to set a good example. It's always good to set a good example. You know what I'm saying? So they see you doing good, so they are gonna be like, "Hey man, so if he's doing good, I can do good." Right. Okay. And you're showing them that they can do it the other way. You know, they yeah. gotta be a blue collar construction guy or gotta sell dope or do anything. Yeah, legal, man. You, you know, can, so you can, can sell, do it with the music, right? You can sell records, man. You can right. sell records. You can sell clothes. You can sell. You can sell food. You can sell. Uh, you can sell products. Like, make your own products. Get creative with it, man. The world is yours. You gotta look at the bigger picture. Like, oh yeah. Look at all the po possible outcomes a person could have had. You know, person could have been, could have died. He could have been in jail. He could have done this. You know, having a rough past. 
but instead, you know, he's uh, against all odds. He's doing, he's doing this. He's ch chasing, he's pursuing a music career or doing this. You know, like when you gotta you look at the bigger picture. When did you kind of realize that music could work for you? Was it, was it one big check? Was it a label? What you were da da da? You know, because I know you said you've done some partnerships with uh, a label, right? Yeah, um, it was more like it was more like. Uh, when did you realize, like, oh, I could pay some bills off this. Like, I could actually do this, and you know, show people that this can be done. You know? I kind of challenged myself, and I and I always told myself like, oh yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Like I'm gonna make money, I'm gonna make money off of music, and I'm gonna do this. And I just did it every day to the point where I did it every day to the point where I got the, I got different results and results I was looking for. One day I'm in the studio with Kodak Black, but it wouldn't have happened if I was I didn't put myself in a position like, oh I'm in the studio, I'm doing this, I'm building up myself to where I'm getting ready to be in the studio with. Like bigger artists, bigger names, producers, whatnot. Now I'm perfecting my craft. And you know, it just, you know, it. it so it wasn't a specific moment. It was kind of like a snowball effect. Like one yeah, thing after another. Yeah. One exactly. Like you exactly. Doing. That's exactly, that's exactly kind of what it was. I could say, like, when I worked with this person, that changed my life. Or, or when I teamed up with this person, like, this collaboration, that just changed my life. Nah, man, like, what changed my life was the hard work. Changed my life was the hard work that I put in every day. The little bit of hard work I put in every day, them little few hours I put in the studio, trying to get better at what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? Because because the people was watching me. You know what I'm saying? They wasn't watching the people I'm working with. They watching me. So it's like my hard work got me where I deserve to be, and I acknowledge it. And now I'm like, okay, now let me see. How further, how further I can take it by myself, you know? What can I do by myself, you know? Watch what I do in AZ in Phoenix, watch. Get some shows popping. You ready? Get some, get, get some artists going, yeah. Watch what I do out there. Yeah, no, for sure. Come on, I'm gonna need help. I need help, for sure. You spoke on the, um, that top 40 list briefly on your last vlog when you were in Phoenix and whatnot. <laughs> what is it about the top 40 Latino rapper list that you weren't fucking with, aside from, of course, not being one of the top fives, you know what I'm saying? Like, why do you, well, think, well, why do you think they, well, you know, well, overlook Swifty when it's clear that Swifty is like, you know, he, he's a, he's a, at the I, I'm front. a big influence for sure. Right. I'm a big influence for sure. All right, and that, that's more like, <coughs> that's their list for sure. So it's like, who's, who are they doing PR for? Who are they rooting for? Like, who are they, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, they're not really like, they're not really, me too heavy right now to where they would put me on that list because they're like doing you know what i'm saying like so but it's all good it's all love regardless like that's cool that list is dope i love to see everybody on that list shining and winning and you know what i'm saying now now can we get can we get like a double xl list like that yeah. can we get like can we get like you know official somebody official platform like to 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 give us our shine and do a list like that for us, that's dope. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's dope. The foot community is cool and shit, but now we need something like, official. For sure. like, yeah, for sure, because that foot community is like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're going to be recognized <clears throat> as that platform. They're not recognizing the music world like, oh, for sure, they doing this, they, you know what I'm saying? Well, feel like it's a little bit, face a little bit more adversity being a Latino rapper, or is it easier to come up because there's fewer of you all? You know what I mean? Well, I feel like now, I feel like now it's easier for everybody to make music and and run some numbers up, get 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 they streams because uh, you have you have a lot of artists who who've done it already. So it's like it's easy. It's not. It's been done before, so it's not impossible. You know, mm -hmm. like for example, SPM. Yes. You know, one of the highest streaming Mexican artists. Period. If, if it, I think he is the highest streaming. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if he was able to stream this much, this much off of his music, like any anybody like else could do it. You know, like like Chito Raras was on his way when he came home from jail. He was dropping uh, everything. He was dropping like 100k in a day. So it's like yeah. So it's like he, you know, some he had the ball in his hands. And so it's possible, so it's like that's motivation to the next artist, to the next month going crazy. And look, besides that, now you got these uh Mexican regional music artists like oh um uh, Chino 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 
Chino de Paca, yeah. or something are like that. Are you talking about like the Junior Aches, like who are doing like, yeah, like modern him, stuff like that? Yeah, like him, Nata, JLP, you know, <laughs> Peso, Pluma. Yeah. Like even TNG is going crazy. Like now you got them in that ballpark where they're like, it's man, nice. they, they're going crazy doing numbers right. in their own region, in their own style of music, their own lane. So it's like them doors have been open, you know? And shout out uh, Jimmy from Rancho Mille for, for being a big, big piece of the puzzle. You know what I'm saying? Do you ever see yourself potentially partnering with someone like a Jimmy in the Rancho space? Well, well, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. I'm, he, I, I'm always open-minded to working with, with you know, like certain people. And they say I, he's like the top dog in the No, he is Latin definitely. Music I, right? I was, I, I've had opportunities to work with with him in the past, and and I, I thought to myself like, what would happen if I put the ball in his hands? Like, how far would he take me? Like. He got a lot of resources too and i'm like yeah he would do a lot for somebody's career for sure he's he's definitely a good resource you get what i'm saying definitely so so um shit, i would i would not mind working with with, uh, with you know pops but but other than that like you know like i know what we can do on our own as well so so i'm ready to just sh shake some stuff up you know i'm ready to just shake the land up just talk briefly on chino what's the status Situation. I don't know too much about it, but yeah. from my understanding, he's still down. You know, he's still busted. Okay. I don't know too much about it, but well, yeah, I want, I want my, I want him to come home and keep winning. He's doing his stuff. He's doing good. You know what I'm saying? He's going crazy, man. Coming to Progress Park as a kid or whatnot? You know, what was that like? Is this Look, kind that's of what we used to play. That's the Jungle Gym right there. That's the Jungle Gym, and then they have, uh, they have the other one in the center of the park over there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, man, like. A lot of memories. No, for sure. For yeah, sure. Good, I, I, bad, ugly. This park, this park has has shown shown me the best of times and the worst of times. Right. This park shown me like all oh, the best of times, like like church picnics over here when I was a kid growing up. You know what I'm saying? Having a good time to uh, to like we over here uh, checking off or politicking in the back, whatever. Now I'm. Just, I'm, I'm checking fools or I'm getting checked or whatever, like shit, like, you know what I'm saying? This park has shown us the best of times and the worst of times. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Best and the worst, huh? Police pulling up. Now we over here, all the homies like scattering and running and we getting harassed or whatever. Enemies coming, whatever, like, you know what I'm saying? Everything, you've seen it all pretty yeah, much here no, at this park. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. That's why I'm like, let's come to the back where the workout equipment was low key. Ain't nobody gonna come work out. Nobody wanna work out, man. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna be in the back working out. There we go, man, hell yeah. You hell know yeah. what I'm saying? Versus being in the front of the park burnt out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, we outside, come get it. Nah, definitely come outside. Come back, come hang out. Hey, Cause you know they not gonna walk to the back of the park. Nah. They're gonna drive by, they're gonna see who, who there, but they're gonna bounce out. They're not gonna walk to the back. Okay, babe, so as we were wrapping up here at Progress Park, we decided to grab some food at Fatima's Grill. The same spot Swifty took Adam and the No Jumper staff a few months back. And just before we stopped there, we decided to hit the Starbucks across the street and grab some coffee. However, we were turned away because they had literally just been robbed. It turns out this area is a hot spot for such activities, with Fatima's Grill actually being a victim of vandalism as well with their last break-in attempt even allegedly being on behalf of Swifty himself. Supposedly, the culprits were trying to send him a message after the No Jumper Hood tour aired, but you'll hear a little more about that in a sec. All right, Swifty, where we at, man? We got the world famous. Poppy Mouse, right here, Poppy Mouse, for real. Look, City of Paramount, not the Downey location. Check us out, huh? I saw him. At 12 chat You know, they try to burn this place down, this Oh my god. Yeah, because of the, the, uh, the no jumper in the beach. Thank god he got insurance, right? Yeah. It's a piece of the insurance, Did the insurance cover it? No, oh, they're taking forever. But they go cover it though. Oh yeah. Okay. So there you go. Give me a little chuckle. Got the work shot on. Wait, what? Well, well, look, after I did the interview with Adam22 right here, I had a, uh, like some of the locals, some of the locals, but like, like my haters, like my enemies, uh, they, they, they threw a brick or they threw, they threw something like with gasoline trying to light it on fire, trying to like, trying to start, trying to burn the place down. No the way. Yeah. The dude had brought it up right now. He was like, yeah, he brought it up. No, but I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. Be, look, I'll be honest with you. Before uh, I did that interview with Adam, they they would pay they paid me like a couple times for a promo on TikTok. 
Okay. So it's like, like you had uh, already been doing. Pro yeah, we did business, so it's like you know, I, I can't, I can't control what I can't control what they're gonna do in the streets and what yeah, makes it. Makes it really No, it's can't, it's I can't, control, can't control everything. Street. So it's like, yeah, we could do promotions, and yeah, you might get more clients, but at the same time, look, you had somebody break the window and try to do this. Right. So, it, it, there's pros and cons with everything. You know, you buy you buy a car, you buy a car, it might be a luxury car, it might be expensive for this and that, but you know, you might get a good deal. Yeah, there's pros and cons to everything, bro. Like, pros and cons. Yeah, for sure. So, liquid okay. gas. Is well. That is the best work truck I've ever had. I'm not even just saying that. Right, it's they, good. They right? gotta make it here, huh? No, yeah, they do. They they make this one here. The yeah. rest mm -hmm. of this here. Right? Yeah, you there's a make difference, it. right? They make it here for sure. They got a couple of these in California. You said kind of around like the, but this the Fatimas. They got yeah, they got a few of them out here. And, and they got like two, three. No, they got like four locations. If I'm not okay, mistaken, so going, huh? four locations of the Fatimas. Yeah, and I I know I know the one of the owners of this one. So like that's why we did so much business over here. I don't know him personally, man. So y'all y'all targeting the wrong people. Stop, <laughs> Stop this. Stop, Stop the bull. Stop it. Stop, you know what I'm Stop it. Oh man, Stop this is business. Stop it. Business right. at the end of the day. You know, right. We're just here to support some good food. You know what I mean? And let that be that, right? We see that. We got the mother. <laughs> Flaming hot Cheeto burger, Chris. Did you try that? Nah, he, I got whatever the uh, Swifty Special is over okay, here. Swifty Special? Yeah. We got the one right next to it, the Hot Cheeto Burrito. Oh, sh**. I'm about to fuck that up. That looks delicious, dude. Are you excited? You, you only up. eat vegan? Yeah, yeah. I'm a bit Hell yeah. yeah. What, what you think of working with Adam? And you've done some with him. And you're good. I was cool. I was cool. He, yeah, I was cool. I was cool. Even though he's like... He's like one of the most <clears throat> controversial things on the internet. He is. Yeah. And he doesn't give a f you know what I'm saying? Like me, like I try not to delve into anything too I, political or anything. I feel like I could relate to him more than like, than like, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like this was co controversial just in different ways. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, uh, you guys, you guys both do a good job. Yeah, you gotta do your shit. Because you know Adam don't give a f he says that. He'll say, I watched his live the other day. He's like, I don't give a f people think I'm antagonizing gang politics in just LA. He's like, I'll do that. Shit. Any city, any city. <laughs> right He's crazy. He's nuts. Like, he don't give a shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, I don't, I don't know. I just couldn't sleep with people beefing over some shit that I put out. You know what I mean? I don't know. I probably need to get past that if I'm ever going to blow up like him, I'm for sure. Yeah, I was about to say, it's probably after a couple is, years. Yeah. But the thing is, it's like, wait, it's like Adam's a different individual, you know? Yeah. You got. You know, so I feel like some people, yeah, he going crazy and he's bald, but some people gonna have a different type of longevity. True. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like what, what you can do, kind of like, it's like that, like what Jake Paul was doing. True. You know? It's like, people True. don't believe in him when he boxing, True. but look at him now, he going crazy, like, oh, shit. so it's like, let's see what Adam can do with this shit. People, a lot of people don't believe in Adam, but let's see what he can do I, now, I, like. Yeah, I thought Adam was, it was looking rough for a second with the whole Lena shit. And then his whole, all his employees kind of like siding against him, but that most knows how to work some drama and turn it into a positive. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. that's one of his superpowers. You know what well, I'm saying? Well, he's doing exactly <clears throat> what he's doing exactly what he wants to do and capitalize off of his media. Yeah. And, and, and he's created his own media from his from his from inside you know from his inside his house like <laughs> like, right. like it's his own blue face drama going on and other you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How do you feel in terms of media? Because you have whole ass media entities that focus on Swifty Blue. You know what I'm saying? That's gotta right, be crazy. Yeah. Well, I'll yeah. like, I, could, I don't know if I could do that. That's tough yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? Man, that shit is crazy. You're bro. a strong it's guy to, to wake up every day and see all these little sites who are just obsessed with you. Nah, fuck. You know? No, what? Well, it's not the, even hate. The, it's main, like love. the main way, the yeah. main way I deal with it is like I don't watch certain. <laughs> Like, people it. people posting like bloggers will do a video and shit. like antagonizing me. I'm not gonna watch that shit. I'm a grown ass man, bro. Right. Like I don't got time. Me personally, I'm not gonna sit around and just watch YouTube of another man antagonizing somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't do that, bro. I'll if I'm gonna watch something, I'd rather watch something that's gonna 
teach me something, bro. Like, I, I, I'll be tired of just watching, like, that's why I be unfollowing so many people on my social media sometimes. Like, I go through a phase where I follow everybody, then I follow people back, then I follow everybody because I get tired of watching the same shit. Because then I'm like, I, I don't learn nothing from this, bro. Right. I don't learn nothing from this at all. Like, I don't care what negative things these people have to say about this person. I want to learn. Right. I want to learn something. Like, I really want to learn, bro. Right. So if I got to go, if I got to go watch this dude preach and talk to me about God because I'm learning about wisdom and how to deal with your patience and I'm learning about how to deal with your problems at home. I'd rather watch this than watch this guy talk to me about yeah. why Mr. Criminal's raps ain't selling no more and he's talking about Swifty. Like, like, or like, like or yeah. how Swifty's hiding out in Texas and, and Arizona, you know what I'm saying? It, it's important. It's important to stay focused and stay, uh, but you're good stay at, grounded. You, like Adam, though, you're good at taking that energy, boom, deflecting it, boom. Yeah, and keeping your motion going. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of music dropping. Monetizing good music off dropping, that. yeah. You good know? music. I got a new podcast I'm working on. <laughs> I got things I'm working on, so I know twenty twenty four is gonna be a good year. Yeah. Twenty twenty three twenty twenty three was good to us. We had we did it we did we ran up a bag. Learning, ran learning. up a bag. <laughs> ran up a bag, I blew a bag, went crazy. My G, how you doing? Hell yeah. Ran up a bag, went crazy, blew a bag. <laughs> All that, but but uh, 2024 is gonna be better for us because because nice. the numbers make sense. Right. Yes, yeah, to the owner. Yeah, real. Uh, hold on, yeah. Look, go ahead, grab one. Grab one. Sure. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Oh my God. Look at this. Look at this. Hey, look at me. This is what the we call eating. Yeah, yeah, eating. Uh, hold on, hold on. Cheeto, uh, hold on. Cheeto, it's not Cheeto, Cheeto Burrito, Cheeto. the special. Mm -hmm. That's what we're about to buy. Motherfucker. With the lime, too? I don't care what we're talking about, Chris. Oh, what's up? What's up with the sauce? Yeah. I gotta see what's up with the sauce. I don't know what it's talking about, man. I gotta see this. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Is that him? Yeah. Look at him. That's him, huh? The Paramount location better than the Downey. For sure. The Paramount location better than the Downey. I promise. <laughs> Where the heart and soul is? Oh wow. Is that him, Chris? No, no. That guy? I feel like I'm back to life. Back to life brought mm -hmm. you right back after a long night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make it sound good. It's your boy Swifty Blue. We right here at Fatima's Grill in the city of Paramount. Shout out Valley Club for rock with me. Swifty Blue coming to a city near you real soon. Valley Club, the cult. Valley Club, the cult.